breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Al Buhari's government officials hid 70 trillion era in banks while CBN. Justice Ministry looked the other way. Al Buhari's government officials hid 70 trillion era in banks while CBN justice. Banks with while CBN, Justice Ministry looked the other way. So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. A suit seeking the recovery line for feature of over 70 trillion era in looted forms in the hands of a few Nigerians has been adjourned until March 6, 2023 by Honorable Justice Peter Odoliful of the Federal High Court, Ikoi, Lagos. The Honorable Justice presided over the case with the case number FHC L CS968 to 2021 on March 7, 2022, and adjourned it to March 31st, 2022, for a decision before the final adjournment until March 2023. The money said to be stashed away in 29 bank accounts. Mainly in first bank is enough to fund Nigerians' budget for three years with some change to keep. The proposed budget for 2023 is 20.5 trillion naira, meaning that the 70 trillion naira eaten by some Nigerians could effectively finance the national budget for three years. The effort of private investigator Mohammed T. Ismail and his team to recover the 70 trillion era through the office of Undara Nissan and Co. Solis Law Chambers have hit a brick wall because some far powerful vested interests have intervened to thwart the case. The investigator bemoaned the fact that certain vested interests in the presidency, Central Bank Nigeria and First Bank, were thwarting all efforts to recover the alleged loot. Below is the full disposition made by the investigator. Muhammad T. Ismail, a private investigator and his team, were able to identify fraudulent bank accounts where trillions of illicit funds belonging to the federal government of Nigeria were domiciled. Muhammad T. Ismail needed illegal instruments to recover these illicit funds to the federal government of Nigeria. Muhammad T. Ismail therefore approached Undarani Sanan Ko Solis Law Chambers and instructed him to write a request for a letter of mandate. Instruction from the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister for Justice, and also from the Minister of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on his behalf, for the recovery of the illicit funds hidden in some secret bank accounts in Nigeria. These funds belong to the federal government of Nigeria 
this letter from Muhammad C. Ismail was received and acknowledged on the 6th of January 2021 by the head of the Department of Civil Litigation in the Indarani Sanan Co. Solis Law Chambers, Barista Saidu Alpha Bala. Muhammad C. Ismail also swore to an affidavit on the same date of 6th of January 2021 in support of the instruction given to Leundarani San and Co. Solis Law Chambers. As instructed and been convinced of the facts available, Undarane San and Co. Solis Law Chambers wrote to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, the Minister of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning, and also to the Accountant General of the Federation, Undarani San and Co. Solis Law Chambers requested for a mandate and instruction to recover federal government looted and hidden funds on behalf of his client, who is Mohammed C. Ismail. Copies of all these letters and correspondences will be made available to you on request. The Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice responded on the 14th of January 2021 by way of inviting Undarani San and Co. Solis Law Chambers for a meeting scheduled for the 19th of January 2021 to discuss details and procedures for the recovery with the Asset Recovery Unit in the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. 29 bank accounts were a combined sum of over 70 trillion era belonging to the federal government was hidden were identified. Now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.